Hi, and welcome to this short tutorial on how to use the TF32 analysis tool to measure vowel formant values. Uh, your, one of your activities is to measure your vowel formants for your own productions of some vowels, and uh, the target words we're going to be using for that exercise are the HVD words that's in your WAV file, HOD, HEED, HOOD, ADD. And if you open up um, your file and expand the view around one of those words, you might see something that looks similar to this. Um, this is a somewhat different word using a different example. But um, we have a, a consonant, a vowel, and another consonant. In this case, it is the word seed produced by a normal speaker. As you can see in the top, we have a uh, sound pressure waveform, and in the bottom is the wideband spectrogram that is the default display uh, when you open up TF32. If you have it expanded to the entire window of your computer, um, you'll get a view that looks something like this. And remember that a wideband spectrogram is really um, can be considered a series of spectrum envelopes lined up in time where the amplitude is indicated by the darkness of the grayscale and frequency runs from low to high on the y-axis. So if we look down here, and we know that the spectrum envelope is good for capturing the locations of the resonances of the vocal tract, or the formant values. We see a large band of energy down here in the low end of the frequency range, and then another band of energy here, here, and even up here. And those are the successive formants associated with this particular vowel. Um, I recommend that you make vowel measurements not directly from the spectrogram itself in TF32, but to use that to find a, an appropriate place from which you then will generate a spectral slice and then look at a spectrum envelope at that point in time and make measurements from that. So um, to do this, you need to open another window. And if you go to View Open and select Spec, now what we have here is the waveform, the wideband spectrogram, and then a amplitude spectrum view. And um, a convention that's typically used for measuring vowel formants um, is to take either the midpoint of the vowel or a steady state of the vowel, and that is the point at which you typically measure vowel formants. So if we go and take our left, uh, click the left mouse button somewhere towards the middle of this sample, you're going to see down at the bottom that we have the um, spectral representation of that. That is the amplitude spectrum. But remember, what we're interested in is not so much that as we are the spectrum envelope. And so to, to actually get something that looks like a spectrum envelope, we actually need to do um, move or change the settings of this view from um, changing the H, which means to show the harmonic structure, to the LP, which is called linear prediction coding, which gives us something that looks like a spectrum envelope. And if you click on here, you can see that now we have more of a smoothed version of the uh, amplitude spectrum. And you see that there are large, there are um, steep peaks in the um, figure. Those are associated with the individual formant values. Now, remember, measuring in the spectrum view window means left click, left, uh, click of the left mouse button, and you get a vertical cursor that you can glide back and forth and actually measure frequency values. If you look up on the wideband spectrogram view, you're going to see that there's a horizontal line here that also changes position as you change position here in the spectrum view. That shows you the correspondence uh, between um, the frequency location in, a, in the spectrum envelope and the frequency location in the wideband spectrogram. So to measure the first formant, you simply go and find the furthest peak to the left. And if you slide this across that peak, remember that it will automatically find it for us. And that is expressed in this lower second number in the first column of the table in the upper right corner. So if we look right up here, this is 0.296 kilohertz or 296 hertz. That is the value of the first formant. Now where will the next formant be? Well we see there's a formant right over here so we can 
slide this over and as we pass it through slowly we see that we now have a value up here of 2.123 that is 2123 Hertz what I'd like you to do is to make these kinds of measurements of the first and second formant for the uh, vowels in the sample and um, that's a fairly simple approach um, you will find sometimes that the peaks in the spectrum envelope are not as clear and may actually be very difficult to see in some cases they may not be present or they may be merged together when they're close successive formants are close together and um, in cases like that it's sometimes just not able to accurately measure an individual formant or you may need to move and slide your location of your slice around a bit to maximally discern the formant values. That's it. That's a quick introduction to how to make formant measurements in the TF32 tool.